Alright, hello there YouTube, it's me, Jax one Okay, this should be an extension to uh, my original how to hack slash mod Super Smash Bros. Brawl video for the characters. Um, so yeah, this is how you make the uh, portraits. What shows up on the roster and my windows just changed the default color scheme, but that doesn't matter. Alright, so first, you are going to want to go to Brawl Box, open, then you want to open your common 5 dot pack in your SD card. Say no. But in your SD card, you want to open up your common 5 dot pack. If you're following my tutorial before, you should have this file. It goes in system, common 5. Now, you are want to go to your select character thing. Now you are going to want to get uh, the image of the character. So I'm going to open up my list. I believe this is in the download link with uh, my original tutorial, this list. Alright, now I'm going to want to find Snake because that is the character. I'm going to replace this over. So I want to go to 45 textures and here we have the snake images alright so I'm going to be replacing over this one right here okay so now you're going to want to export it you have to export it I'm just going to restate this again you want to export this image to your wherever you want it I guess I'm just going to export to my desktop now you're going to want to get a program called GIMP it's really easy to find, just like putting GIMP or whatever, uh, GNU image manipulation program. Like, yeah, and there's downloads and it's here in the downloads. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I get GIMP. Uh, there will be a link in the description. Now you are going to want to open up this image with GIMP. I already have GIMP open, so I will open and then go to my desktop and then open. Um, uh, this, which is Snake, the men whatever pack, because that's what's called. Now here's Snake. Now first, you are wanting to, you're going to want to delete this image. So you're going to want to press Control A on your keyboard, and then delete it. Like just press the delete key. That's what I do. Um, now you are going to want to find an image of the character you are trying to import. So now I'm going to be making a James Bond, Bong, whatever, a James Bond texture. So really, just Google this and look up Google Images. Now here we have them. I want 007, uh, Goldeneye, James Bond. So here, then I'm just gonna do this to my ex, my desktop too. Now I'm going to close out of this, no problem. And now I'm going to also edit James Bond in GIMP. So. James Bond. And then it'll open up another image of James Bond. Now you're going to want to make transparency with this image. So you're going to want to go to Layer, Transparency, and Add Alpha Channel. So now it has an Alpha Channel, which is basically a transparency thing. Um, now you're going to want to go to the Fuzzy Select tool and select the background and then you're going to want to press delete and then just delete any other areas that where the background color is still there but, uh, now I'm going to uh, not export it I'm going to press control A and then control C so now it's copied you can usually just you can also do like uh, press all here and then just edit and copy but I like control A and control C now you want to go back to the men whatever pack thing press control V it pasted the 007 image now you're going to want to resize this image with the scale tool click on 007 and then you can want make sure these are linked together these two links after clicking the scale key now you can resize this to whatever size so I'm just going to resize it right there perfect 
Now, you are going to want to, when you're resizing it, you're going to want to stay above the general area, like, of right here. Because right here, this is where all, oops, uh, fail. Uh, don't do what I just did. <laughs> Down here is, like, where all the, uh, whatever, uh, like, select name, player one, whatever, all that stuff. So you're going to want to have most of your stuff above that area. You do not have to do what I just did with the selecting with the square, just to let you know. I just did that for demonstration. Now, you have your James Bond image. Just overwrite, min whatever, or just export to another file, but I'm just going to overwrite the snake. So now, and now down here we have our James Bond image. Yep. Looks like him. Alright, I can just close out GIMP now. Yes. We're not going to be doing anything anymore with GIMP. Just going to minimize that. Now, you can right click it, as I believe I say in the tutorial, replace it, and replace it with the men whatever face. And here we have James Bond, right in the game. I uh, hope that helps, because I was getting a lot of questions about that. But and that's really it. Just save it. I'm not going to do that, because I didn't import James Bond even though I know there's a character texture out there for him. Uh, but, yeah, that's it. Good day.